I'm looking for a kind of dialogical exchange between elements. Whether haptic materials, physical space, people, text, voice, objects, duration. My name is Bettina Buck. I'm a sculptor. The kinds of processes forming the work extend well beyond the work and are present to a greater or lesser extent in the work. Movement of material forms an important part of these processes. A foam block is flown from Berlin to Rome. A clay object is driven from London to Berlin. A stone is shipped from Norway to London. These movements are recorded and documented. Your work formulates itself around different processes, material, space, performance, with what a situation presents you with, the conditions you perceive to exist, with what's given, but always with sculpture in mind. Another approach to forming this kind of dialogical or negotiated exchange between elements is in another interlude. In this work you are dragging a large foam block through the Galleria Nazionale d'Arte Moderna and its collection of 19th and 20th century art. An abstract block, it starts to speak to what's around it. It's constantly morphing between you, it and us. And then in the wider context, us in relation to other things to the space and also to the other work. It's constantly moving between you, the performer, or you and it, the performer, or it, the performer, with the particular architecture around it, or it being an object, or it being just material. And depending on what gallery you were in, there is such a nice movement from figurative to more conceptual, abstract work. So it connects to various histories, and then when you get to the contemporary part, it starts to almost belong there. So it's finding its form as well in a certain way. It's more thought and more material in the beginning when it's moving through, let's say, the Rosso section, lumps of material in which a form is slowly appearing or disappearing. There are connections also between the performance in Nam and an earlier performance, Streichelso, from 1998, which you performed again under the same title in the V&A in 2011, in a series of instructions directed by you and dependent on the person who was invited to submit to these and his or her reaction, these instructions varied from person to person. Wall Stavanger and Booth Basel are related works that embed themselves in the architecture and given conditions of these spaces. Wall Stavanger is a foam filled cavity between an existing wall and the exhibition space and a newly built wall in front of it. The newly built wall operates as part of a group show and as an actual real wall in the exhibition space used for another artist's work. Booth Basel was also almost imperceptible a work that lasted one week at the Art Basel Statements. It was almost impossible to record and lives mostly by word of mouth. The walls and floor of the actual booth were tiled with recycled tiles chosen for their distinctive greenish-brownish, non-colour glazed edge. Following this, you installed a second layer of walls and floor at a small distance from the existing walls and floor, creating a line of green-brown ceramic tile 
at the very edges of the booth and framing it with a largely unseen cavity measuring 2.573 cubic meters. In a work like Three Upright, with its inherent instability, you can see how process, space, performance, external forces alter and shape the material. The work consists of three self-supporting tiled canvas structures treated with latex on one side. From the movement of people around the work, to the work of gravity on the material, to the number of exhibitions, duration needed to change their form. In other words, they are the performer. The work itself is the performer. They are allowed to collapse when one of their components gets too tired to function. The collapsed structure is re-erected as long as it is able to stand or rebuilt anew when all of the three structures cannot be made to stand anymore, beginning the cycle all over again in its search for finding form.